Yes, good afternoon and good evening and welcome to our next episode of Yard Talk. Thank you Kev Kev for joining in, Brandon and Miss Janet. Thank you for joining in. Um, today's episode of Yard Talk will be about some cooking. Yes, we have a chef from Jamaica who will be joining me very soon. Um, his name is Christopher Schooler. And he was a silver medalist in the JCDC competition down there in Jamaica. And he'll be joining me to tell me about his journey as a youngster coming up. And, you know, basically talk about his love of food and, and becoming a chef. And I know, Brandon, you were doing some chef things yourself. So this is just up your street, man. This is just up your street. You know, as soon as he um, logs in, we will um, start the proceedings today. Yes, he's here. And um, let's go. Oh, man. Yes, chef. Mm. Mr. Fuller himself. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> What's happening, Christopher? What's happening there? I'm here. Let's get get trying to get everything ready, as you can see. Oh, beautiful, so beautiful. beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Yes, man. So how is everything going down here in the yard? Everything is all right. So no, no. Mm. Mm. You managed Sunny to get your arm... Um, the guitar. Get all your stuff in from the market today, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes, good, good, good. Mm. So what you want to do first? Do you want to cook first or you want me to to explain who you are first to the people, what you want to be done. We can do the cooking first and then we'll do the explaining after. Okay then, no problem sir. The, the yeah. show is yours. Um, let us know exactly what you'll be cooking today for the people out right. here. So today I'll be cooking um, a pineapple escovitch fish and um, cheese Planting. Cheese okay. planting. Wow. Yeah. I've never tasted a cheese planting. That sounds good. I came up with it last night. So uh -huh. I just came up with it last night. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So, so mm -hmm. I'm going to start by preparing the escovitch sauce. Uh -huh. Dressing. Well, what makes escovitch fish escovitch fish is the sauce basically, because without oh, the sauce okay. it would be dry fish. Yeah. Yeah. So first step we're going to do. You see in the pot? Yes. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do um, in making the sauce, we're going to add. Some vinegar to the pot, about mm -hmm. well, half cup or to a cup. Half cup to a cup of vinegar. Mm -hmm. We're going to allow it to come to a boil. Meanwhile, we can season our fish, mm -hmm. which um what type of fish are you using for this um escobich pineapple dish i'm going to use a snapper a yellow tail okay. snapper okay yeah. so the fish mm -hmm. season the fish i'm going to Put a mixture of um, 
all purpose seasoning, salt and black pepper. Rub okay. it inside. Mm -hmm. Give it a little score right at the side here, on each side. Yeah. And rub some seasoning there. Okay. Okay. So for the people who's just joining um to Yard Talk UK, um I'm talking here to um Christopher Schooler, um Chef de Parte from Jamaica, and he's at the moment seasoning up his pineapple escovis fish with um cheese plantain. Is that correct? Yes, cheese plantain. Lovely. So After seasoning the fish, we're going to heat the oil. Okay. The oil in this pot. You can see it? Yep. I can see. Okay, normally, well, I'm mm -hmm. going to we're going to, I'm going to add um pepper, garlic, yeah. piece of scallion to the to the oil when it is heated. Right. Flavor to the fish. Mm hmm Have you been to Elsha in Port in Saint Catherine? Personally, no, but I've seen some of the um the the dishes that they do, like the lobster and stuff like that. Yeah. And that's that's their secret. Thing. They always put garlic, pepper, and scallion in the oil. Oh, okay. All right, so the, we're going to leave the oil to heat up. Um, the vinegar is boiling up, so I'm going right. to add. I'm going to add um onions. Mm -hmm. Julienne some carrots. Right. Sweet peppers. And some scotch bonnet pepper. I use about three there and about. We need it spicy. Okay. Yeah. Jamaican hot scotch bonnet, man. One of the best peppers in the world. <laughs> Definitely. I tell you, that make any pot taste good. <laughs> I'm going to add some um, pimento seed to it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Spice of Jamaica. Yes, yeah, spice of Jamaica. Um, I'm going to add the. Pineapples, some pineapple oh. okay. wedges. So all that seasoning now going into your vinegar that has been boiling up for like a couple of minutes, few minutes, yeah? Going to allow this to come to a boil and then reduce it to a simmer. Okay. Ensure the ensure that the seasons are cooked. Right. And so I'm going to head to the fridge to get some scallion. No okay. problem, but yeah, for the people who are just joined in, um, you're in tune to Yard Talk UK. Um, your host Roger, and um, today we are talking to a chef schooler, um, otherwise known as Christopher Schooler, and he's a Jamaican chef. And at the moment, he's showing us how to make um, pineapple escovitch fish with cheese plantain. So this is a wicked dish. I've never tasted the cheese plantain dish. I've probably tasted escovitch before, but um, 
this is a new thing. And um, so far, he's um, boiled his oil, infused it with onions and um, garlic and scallion, you know, to make sure that um, all the seasoning infused into that fish when it goes in. Hello. He's just gone to the fridge to get some scallion. Just like to welcome everybody who is in the room, chat room right about now. Thank you for joining. So, I'm going to add um, pepper. Right. Garlic. Mm -hmm. And a stark of scallion. Stark of scallion. Yeah. So, most of these dressing has come from water, so I'm going to reduce it. Okay. Basically, turn the fire down. <laughs> well, I can see the steam coming out yeah. of that pot, man. I can just imagine those yeah, seasoning in, yeah, infused. Sweet, sweet essence of the pineapple just bursting through the scotch uh -huh. bonnet flavor. Mercy. That's it. As, as, as people join in, um, Chef, we just want to let them know exactly what you're cooking again. Um, it's a escobage pineapple fish. Um, you're using a yellowtail snapper. And um, you're going to also have cheese plantain. So this yeah. is a wicked little dish. I'll probably um, do this myself at home when you finish. Really easy as well. Really simple. Uh -huh. yeah. You can do it at home with the kids as well. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm going to remove the scallion and pepper from the pot with the oil is flavored right now. Okay. So, you're using the secret from... Um from the people that mind them, mind them, mind them, mom, <laughs> curse you out, you know. <laughs> if I shouldn't even reveal the secret as well. Yeah. You know, chefs are very secretive <laughs> about their recipes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Hello to everybody who has joined in to Yard Talk. How are you doing out there? I'm going to dry off the fish and um, get rid of the excess moisture. Okay. We don't mm. want to create a seed. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Can not have that in your kitchen, boss? <laughs> so you have to add the oil. The fish. Woo! While well, the fish is being fried, I'm going to remove the, the I'm going to remove the rest of each rest of each dressing. Mm -hmm. Take the rest to cool. Put it outside. Yeah. I'm going to Set on the pot for the plantain. For the plantain. So basically what you do, you're going to fry the plantain or? 
I'm going to fry the plantain. I'm going to create mm -hmm. um, the sauce. Yeah. The yeah. Oh, okay. Pineapple escovish fish. Why am I telling my mouth of water as you're uh, over this thing? I'm sure that down there, I film this thing live. It tastes it, man. Trust me. Whenever you're on the island, you're free to come on. Test my food most definitely. No, what do you mean, man? That is a must. Trust me. Once we reach down there, so. So I'm heating up the oil for the, mm -hmm. for the plantain. Okay. So how, how long would you fry the fish for? About 10 minutes on each side. Okay. Some persons like them, their fish really crispy. Mm -hmm. I like my fish crispy, so I ensure that it is really crispy. Mm -hmm. One of our viewers here is saying that they're out of water. <laughs> yes, welcome to Yard Talk, Miss Bartley. Yeah, if you're getting this live feed properly or if it's breaking up, let me know people in the um, chat room because um, before Chef came on, I uh, was having some issues with the internet. So let me know if it's um, coming through loud and clear. Put your comments in the comment box and let me know if you're receiving this loud and clear, yeah? And as I said, if you just joined in, you're in tune to Yard Talk UK and we are in the kitchen of the great chef schooler gonna make up some escobage fish for us pineapple style and with cheese planting okay mm -hmm. So I noticed you slice the plant in a little bit thick. Is um not not the usual way we we would have sliced it's sidewards. Yeah. Um. When we reach the point, when we we're going to take them out and crush them. Mhm. Mm yeah. And then put them back okay. in. Okay. Okay. Yes. Welcome, Kenny. How are you today? Or is it on your side of the world? Yeah, man, that fish ready to fry up. Well, I hope um, as well you post the ingredients for us. So that um, everybody here in the room can actually um, make it. I'm going to, I'm going to post No problem, man. No problem. Yes, yeah, somebody is saying that. Um, could you adjust your camera slightly so they can see more inside the pot? So they can um yeah see exactly what you're doing. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Yes, I can see that. I don't know if everybody else can, but I can see.
So at the moment, um, Chef Spooler is making the Escobage fish um, pineapple style with um, a cheese planting and um, just at the moment, just frying up the planting, getting it ready. to remove the, the plantain from the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's what I said as well. Is that, who is that? Faifu? Is that Faifu you pronounce your name? Yeah, that teens planting sounds interesting to me as well. I can't wait to see this. I mean, I, I've had Escobage fish. Um, everybody, as you know, in different parts of the island will cook it slightly differently. Everybody have their own twist on how they, they cook. Now, everybody cook um, fry fish or steam fish the same way. Everybody always have their little twist and little um magic touch to it Hello, two days recipe. Thanks for joining in. As you know, we are with yes, Chef Skula here. Chef de Parte. Well, the fish from the uh, we'll set it aside. Okay. So that was basically frying chef for about what? Twenty minutes roughly? Mm -hmm. Ten on each side? Yeah. Well, 20 minutes, yeah. So, all right. These are this is you're seeing the plantain now? And, uh, if you could tilt it slightly, tilt your camera like a slightly or something. Seeing? Yes, that's better. Alright. So I'm going to put it in the foil paper. Mm -hmm. Normally I do it on a table, but this is the air I'm using. I'm going to crush it. Yeah. With the next plate. Mm -hmm. Here we have a planting. Okay. So it's gonna have a like a star look, like a that's it. Yeah. Going to crush the others. Okay. So how long did you fry the planting for again? Because you can't fry them too right too hard, any? Yeah. Um I fry them for about about five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Hello Mo Love. Thanks for joining Yard Talk today. You're in tune to Chef Schooler. And myself, um, Roger. Hello. Hey man, chef, I cook up some wicked. Boy, I me wish me the dinner now. If it smell that aroma coming in. Big up, J-Scripts. What are you saying, man? Thanks for joining us. We have the chef in the kitchen right now, cooking up a storm. 
original chef. We have a lot of chef logging in, man. It look like they want to take away your secret ingredients. <laughs> Telling you, I can't wait to see the finished product of this this year because I definitely have to try it. Trust me. Hello, 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 and how are you, Anne Marie? Thanks for joining in. You're tuned in to the Jamaican chef at the moment, you know. And we can, yes, hello, dear. He's cooking up what we call pineapple escabeche fish, and with cheese planting. At the moment, now he's just preparing up his planting. Yeah, what he's cooking is um escovage, pineapple escovage fish and cheese plantain. That's the dish today. Hello, Delia. Or Della, 28. Thanks for joining in. Yeah, talk. We got the chef doing his business. Yes, that's what I was saying, Anne-Marie. Um, what I want to see is the cheese plantain because I've never had that. I've had the um, escobage fish before, but he has his own twist on the escobage fish himself as well. You know? Chef Davis, join in. Chris, we look like we have a lot of chef coming in to take away your... Um, Secret ingredient, man. <laughs> I'll share sometime, you know? Yes, man. All right. Yes, so, mm -hmm. so I'm going to um, I'm going to make a cheese sauce. You're seeing, you're seeing the pot here? I, I can see the pot, but I can't see inside of it. No, but I can see the pot. All right. All right. Blades, big up yourself. Blades design. All right. I'm going to add some heavy cream to the pot. Okay. Yeah. So about half cup. Yes, escabeche I'm fish. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. Uh -huh. Just a little. Yes, Leroy, big up yourself. Yes, Chef Davis can't see properly, man. I'm saying you need to angle up your camera a little bit more. You want to see why I'm throwing at the pot there. That's all right? Yeah, that, that little bit better. Yes, yes. So, when everything comes to a boil, uh -huh. I'm going to add um, my cheddar cheese. 
Sharp cheddar cheese. Oh, sorry for that. Chef Davis is a woman. <laughs> sorry, my dear. <laughs> Add some sharp cheddar cheese. Okay. Create a cheese sauce. Yes, Leroy. Big up yourself. So to the heavy cream, you have added your cheese, yeah? Grated cheese. Cheddar cheese, sharp cheddar cheese. Okay. So the cheese, it takes that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the cheese sauce is finished. Yeah. I'm going to remove the plantains from the pot. Mm-hmm. Chef De Francis, thank you. Grillian, thank you for joining in. So your planting now is ready for that sauce, right? Yeah. I'm going to add this, the, the, the cheese sauce to it when it is in the plate. Okay. So... You get everything on the plate now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get the fish on the plate. Uh -huh. I'm going to add the escalip sauce. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, Chef, that looks delicious. Trust me. Going to put the plantains. Yeah, man, that look good. That look good, man. I tell you. Trust me. Get the cheese sauce on it as well. Wow. Yeah, man. I wish me did enough to taste that chef. Trust me. That planting cheese, cheese planting, they look good. Something I definitely have to try. And for a little garnish, I'm going to add some 
Pain of cultural dish. Ah, okay. So. Yeah, for the people who just joined in, Chef, I just want to update you on what is happening at the moment. Um, the dish is escobidge fish, pineapple escobidge fish with <coughs> plantain. Um, yeah, share so the live, share the live. This mm. is the finishing product. Oh. Oh, man, chef. I can taste that. I can taste it, man. Yes. Ooh. Lovely. Lovely, chef. So just go through the process. For, for who hasn't seen it from the beginning, just go through the process of how this was made. All right, so I made the escovitch sauce by um, adding the vinegar to the pot, mm -hmm. letting it come to a border. Then I add the, scale, the onion, sweet pepper, mm -hmm. carrots, and um, pineapple right. with um, pimento seed as well. Right. Simmer for about ten minutes. Mm -hmm. Then I fry the fish. Um, season the fish with salt and black pepper and all-purpose seasoning. Right. Um, allow the oil to add. Season the oil with pepper, scallion, and garlic. Remove that mm -hmm. from the oil and add the fish to the oil. Mm -hmm. Then I fry the, the plantains. Um, then I made the cheese sauce. Okay. And um, you actually crush the, the planting down into a star shape so that yeah. it can um, get yeah. to that yeah. shape there. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. I love it, Chef. That was a nice, nice, straightforward dish. Yes. Yeah, with a simple dish you can, you can do at home as well. Mm -hmm. You can be your own chef at home. Yes. Five stars dishes. <laughs> <laughs> May I tell you? May yeah. I tell you? I love it, man. I love that. Trust me. As I said, I wish I was there now if it tastes that. Especially the um the pine the the, 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 the um the planting with the cheese sauce. Yeah. Mm, so the cheese sauce was made with a with a what kind of cream is that that cream Every you can cream. buy in most stores? Yeah, you can get it at the high end supermarkets. Mm -hmm. It's heavy cream right. and sharp cheddar cheese. Sharp cheddar cheese, perfect. Obviously, we will give the ingredients at the end of the show. Yeah, <laughs> yes, Leroy, same with a deal with that. What do you mean? <laughs> Miss Bartley, yeah. yes, we to deal with that. Yes, yeah. lovely, lovely, lovely. Mm. Well, we have twenty minutes left, Chef, where we can actually um talk a little bit about your your background and how you became a chef and um yeah. what is held for you in the future well i started cooking mm -hmm. from I was in primary school okay which primary school was that went to um st john's primary okay so an old um st john's word in spanish town spanish town okay yeah. Um, my, fir my first dish I ever made was fried dumpling. Um, <laughs> Typical. My, my neighbor next door, 
Um, invited me over and so we're going to run a boat today. So yes, we picked some aki. Mm-hmm. Um, it was the worst aki I ever cooked. Um, we never know really understand how to do it. Yes. Um, um, we did left some all the, the pink stuff in it as well, so it oh. never turned out pretty at all. It never no, turned. No, no, definitely yeah. not. Mm. Yeah. So we learn from there uh-huh. what to do and what not to do. Yeah. Uh, then we did we started learning the basic frying an egg. Mm-hmm. Then we did start mess up on fried dumplings. So we used to make like sugar dumpling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not quite festival, but sugar dumpling. Mm. Yeah, first, we couldn't, we, we never knew, knew how to kneel the dumpling so well. So yeah. we did end up with anything we end up with at the end, we just work with it. That's it. As long as it cook. <laughs> as long as it cook. <laughs> yeah, I mean. mm-hmm. but, so you were saying yeah. that your dad was an influence in your cooking as well. You learned yeah, something from your dad. Yeah, my dad always cook on Sundays and always in the kitchen with him. Mm-hmm. Um, so I learned how to cook rice and peas from him and thing. Right. Um, and he always challenged me to okay. do better. Always challenge me. I'm a, that's why I'm so com- I'm a competitive type of person. My dad always challenged me to 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 be the best I can be. Always try to cool. do better than him. I always challenge me as yeah. well. Up to this day, I think he's a better chef than me. <laughs> I said, going on. Competition is good mm. for the soul, man. Competition good for the soul. <laughs> Most definitely. Most yeah. definitely. So, mm. um, did you go to any other, like, any cul- cul- culinary schools or anything like that to advance yeah, your I went thing? to... I went to Boulevard Baptist. It's on Washington Boulevard in St. Andrew. Uh-huh. Yeah. Went to Boulevard Baptist. I did I did level one, two, and three there. Okay. I would, re- I would recommend that school to anybody because that, yeah. that school really um, helped me to grow as a person. Mm-hmm. Any teachers there that you want to shout out who helped you along? Uh, shout out to Miss Beckett, you know, mm. and Miss Miss Curlew. Wish Miss Curlew will leave the country. Miss um, Dockery and the yeah. teachers over there, you know. Mm. Yeah, most definitely. <laughs> definitely. So, what is um? Uh, how did the um the JC the JCDC competition come about? How did that start? You know, you know, you know one day we were in class. And the teacher said to us that we should we should um enter the competition. Everyone in the class should enter the competition. Okay. I was a shy person at the time, so she mm. she pushed all of us to go and enter and I did enter and um my dad um mm. came up with a came up with a uh, plantain pudding and um I perfected it okay. and I brought it to the competition uh-huh yeah so on the day I was kind of nervous still cuz I was a lot of obviously. lot of person were there <laughs> So you have to showcase your thing to them. So yeah, obviously yeah. nerves gonna um yeah. tap up in. to when up to the point where I was going to call it the medal, I was nervous. I was like, I can't mm. mind him. Call. I could I never mind him the Macal? I must let somebody else go through at the place. Yeah. Surprising, I eh? I couldn't believe. Yeah. Yeah. So how many people entered that competition itself? From the school from the school? Yeah. Or about uh, total. I'm I'm not honestly not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. But you yeah. managed to beat out majority of them anyway, because you came you got silver medal. 
So mm. that is a good look. That's a good start mm. to your career. Yeah. Mm. So what is the future hold for you now? Are you going to work in the um, hotel business when it reopens or what's, what's the future? Well, the, mo the motive right now for me is to create and start my business, hopefully. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Create a brand as in brand schooler, chef schooler as a brand. Okay. And, um, yeah. It's, it's better to start when you're young more than to when you get older. Life pile up on you. So exactly. I'm taking, I'm taking, um, charge of my youth, you know. Yes. Taking a chance with my youth. Why not? It, that's where it all starts. You have to start when you're young. Because if you notice with all these um, entrepreneurs around the world, they always start from the, the, in the teens and in the young, early 20s. And yeah, um, yeah. that is how they, 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 they perfect the craft, as you will be doing, I, I, I guess, as you said, you're a competitive person. So... Yeah, com Perfecting your craft is the main thing so that you can stand out um, uh, uh, you know, above all the other chefs out there. Because you yeah, know in England here, we have Gordon Ramsay, you know, one of the um, biggest chefs in London here. Soon and, passing, um, just, uh, my game cup players to stay on top, I'm soon passing, man. <laughs> it's like me for my ways on top, you know? Most definitely. I love your ambition, man. I love your ambition, man. I love your ambition and your drive. That is so good, man. And I can just encourage you to just continue cooking yeah. up a storm in the kitchen for the people mm. them. Because once you get known internationally, you never know, you know, yeah. where, where, where it ends. And as, as, as you said, we at Yard Talk or me, Roger, have to come down and come see you and um, dig up your thing properly, you know, so proper televise this. And as you know, all these videos here, Live talk here will be uploaded to our YouTube channel, um, Yard yeah. Talk UK. Um, the links I'll send them to you, and um, obviously your live interview here today will be recorded and um, uploaded to the site. You know. Yeah. yeah. Is there anybody inside the forum who wants to ask Chef? Maybe there is a difficult dish that they've been struggling with. You know, so one of my friends them the other day phoned me up and asked me how to do steam rice. <laughs> and I said to him, yeah. and I said, the man said, him tries for steam rice and him bun up. <laughs> and, and I said, but Bridget, this man is in his 40s, you know. So I said, how were you eating rice all these years? He said, in God, Jamaican take away shop and buy rice. <laughs> <laughs> buy cook rice and come back home with it. And oh. most of the time, in family, he say his mother and his father always um cook, so he never bother with it. Oh, Hello, dear okay. Michelle. She said she loves oxtail. <laughs> Is one of your classmates here beginning up, you know? Oh, oh. Well, go on, love. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, so what more can we um can we know about Chef School? As you said, you want to open your own business and everything else. Um what 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 else is there in your future that you that in your plan? Well, the plan is basically be as big as I can be in as I'm mm. planning to write a recipe book as well. You know, it's kinda hard knowing that sometimes it does do things wing some things you know yes but i really i'm going to write a recipe book that's one of my goals as well so left oh, a mark and left a mark on the culinary world of course yeah. of course if you write a book the book will always be there even when you're gone long gone yes. your book is always going to be there so that's one of the oh, goals definitely. yeah to write a recipe book mm. We're taking a question here. Um, boss lady, she said, I always wanted to try cooking fry rice. So how, um, how does she go about that? All right. So how I fry rice, uh, I saute, season the chicken breast. 
Mm -hmm. I sauteed, remove it from the pot. Then mm -hmm. I sauteed scallion thyme, no, scallion thyme onion, mm -hmm. and crack the egg, um, scramble the egg, add the rice to it, add the chicken breast back to it, and add, um, add um, the soy sauce. If you want mixed veg to it, you can add a tin of mixed veg to it right there and then as well. Yeah. So what, you, you boil the rice first and let it cool down or you just boil it and put it straight? It's best to use, it's best to use overnight rice. Mm -hmm. I had the night rice, leftover rice from the night before. Right. Then use that and make a good fried rice. Okay. So basically yeah. for the start off with the fried rice, you boil the rice first. And yeah. then let it cool down. And it then, um, as you before. said, you add your ingredients and um, stir fry it that way. Yeah. I hope, yeah. boss lady, I hope, I hope you can try that. <laughs> but you've got a YouTube channel yourself, haven't you? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel, Cooking with Chef Schoolers. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, you guys, you can go and check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. Mm -hmm. um, the key to making a good um, oxtail is to, to sear it before you add the, the seasoning to it. Sear it. it. You add it to the pot with the oil and let it fry a little. Yep. And um, then you add your seasoning to it and pressure it. Okay. And re-season after. That's it. Because yep. oxtail, I've, I've done oxtail myself and um, I, didn't, I didn't have a pressure cooker at the time, but it didn't taste bad because what I did I just keep it on a medium fire for yeah. approximately an hour. Just keep adding the water as it goes down. And um, yeah. my little twist to it, I always add, I have a habit of putting ketchup. I add a little yeah. ketchup in it. Yeah, and then, cannot, yeah. that's what I do. Whenever you're making a stew, like stew chicken, yeah. and um, you can always add a little ketchup, mm. you know. Toops of sugar. Yep. A chef, a chef secret. A toops, not much, just a little bit. Yeah. Enhance the, the flavor of the ketchup. That's it. Yeah. Wicked. I'm going to try that, man. I'm going to try that. Anybody else here who wants to, to find out how to cook something difficult that they've been trying all this time? We want to hear from you. We've got. Eight more minutes with Chef here before this video ends. So we want to get in all your comments, you know. See, the chef agree. Yeah. Have sugar. That's a chef's secret. We don't normally tell people these things. Okay, okay. Yeah. That's the twist. Yeah, because normally persons would say, like, we're crazy or so, but it, it helps. It helps. It helps. Yeah. But what? I saw a chef one time in Jamaica who done that, you know. Um, mm -hmm. Obviously, he had a bit of brown sugar because he was making stew chicken. Yeah. And what he told me that he don't like to brown his sugar with oil. No, I don't brown sorry, sugar. Sorry, brown his chicken with oil. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And um, that's why he put the brown sugar in there and make that caramelized. And then him put in him chicken and brown it that way. Yeah. Have you tried it that way before? Yeah, I tried it that way. Mm -hmm. Um, like the first time I ever did it, um, I burned it, the, I caramelized the sugar too much and it came out <laughs> bitter. Yeah, that's uh, the trick you was telling me. After that, I perfected it. Uh -huh. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Miss Romel says she's getting hungry of all this food talk, you know what I mean? Yes, people, I, I, if you just joined in and you just come onto the platform, you're in tune to Chef Schooler. Um, and me, the host, Roger, from Yard Talk UK. And this platform is designed for young people like him, who is a up and coming in whatever field you're trying to do. Whether it's you want to be a doctor, lawyer, teacher, chef, bus driver, whatever the field you want to go in, this is a platform I want to push out to the UK people. You know, some good, not always about the bad. We always hear about the car accidents and the killings and whatever. And people seem to gravitate more to the bad stuff. But we're trying to promote youngsters like yourself and promote 
the good of the island, you know? And Jamaican chefs are, as far as I'm concerned, if they're not the number one, they're in the top five of best chefs in the world, as far mm -hmm. as I'm concerned. Your rice and peas. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, you can. Hey, chef, stop you with all of the chef secret. Then, <laughs> my God, I've left some for make people Different wonder. Things. Thank I've you left very so, much for that, man. I've left That's... so for the people who wonder. That's it. But, yeah. but he, 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 he um, didn't say how much ginger because obviously it's you have to tone it down. You don't want it too hot, especially if you're serving to kids and stuff. Yeah. But yes, that is a nice little um, trick there. I didn't even realize that. Yeah. <laughs> any yeah, more tricks? Any that. more tricks to the trade? Let me know. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Mm -hmm. Sister Chef, Sister Chef, what do you have to ask before we sign off? We have four more minutes. And um, what else do you want to say to the people over here into the UK? What do you want to say to them, Chef? Uh, well, for, to the persons are, that are in the UK, um, mm. I hope you guys visit as often as possible. You know that come and help build our country, you know? Uh, <laughs> We're still one nation. Yep. And, yeah. And as the the people them say, no one no better than the yard, most definitely. No, no you no hit the nail. Him. You hit the nail on the head, man. No way no better than the yard, man. I mean, mm. I was down there last year, um, 2019. And I'm telling you, I hadn't been back to Jamaica since 2015. So okay. that was, what, four years? Yes. But before that, we're going to time out, you know. But Chef, thank you for joining me yeah. and, drive, and, and joining Yard Talk. That signature dish is beautiful. Thanks to yeah. everybody who has joined in. Yes? And uh, hopefully I can interview you at a later date. Okay, Mr. Roger. Yes, man. We'll link yes. up. Yeah, thank Mr. you very much.